the Fufine H8 headphones. Let's review it. Starting off with the front of the box, we'll tell you some of the key information, like it is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as a 6.35 millimeter audio jack, which is meant for like interfaces. And then it also says it has soft comfort pads. Looking at the back of the box, it says some of the features. So it has real clear audio, plug and play, fit soft material, cozy earmuffs, locking adjustable headband, lightweight design, noise reduction, and detachable coiled cables. Going into the unboxing, let's go ahead and open up the box here. You can see you're greeted with the user's guide which will contain some of the information about like how to detach cables and whatnot um, and then you have the actual headphones with the different coiled cables here so you have the normal one and then the one that is meant for plugging into an interface and this is what the actual side of the headphones look like which is it's not too shabby of design i like the little smiley face i do really like that they give you the 6.35 millimeter audio jack just in case you do want to use these with an interface because most headphone brands don't do that the actual foam on the ear cups of the headphones are relatively squishy which means comfort into the audio review so it's going to be a little hard for me to justify the quality of the actual headphones through a video so what i'm going to do is play audio through the headphones and record it with the microphone of my iphone and then i'm going to do it again and record it with the microphone connected to my pc that way you guys can hopefully get a sense of what it actually sounds like but obviously it's not going to be perfect all right let's plug these bad boys in and give them a try So there we have it. That was a comparison between the H8 headphones as well as a more premium set of headphones, the DT990 Pros. You can actually hear a significant difference between the two headphones. The DT990 Pros obviously have a lot more bass than the H8 headphones. I didn't notice too much bass with the H8 headphones whenever I was wearing them. It's nothing crazy. However, they are cheap budget headphones. So you can't really expect much. I do have a couple critiques about these headphones. One of them is being that the actual headphone like earmuffs are a little bit small. So if you have big ears that it's not really going to fit around your ear fully. They fit my ears like perfectly. If my ears were a tiny bit bigger, they would literally not fit. And then the other being that they are closed back. I don't really like closed back headphones, but obviously that is fully preference. Some people do prefer closed back over open back. I also do really like that it comes with a coiled cable because the DT990s also come with a coiled cable, so I'm used to having one. So I do like that these do come with a coiled cable as well. They are very useful. Do I think that these headphones are worth it? Absolutely. I think that they are worth every single dollar. They are meant for studio monitoring monitoring or monitoring your own vocals they aren't necessarily meant for gaming and stuff like that because gaming you're gonna need a little bit more expensive headphones if you want to really hear all the footsteps and all the audio cues and everything like that if you're taking it competitively so yeah i do think overall that these headphones are worth it so if you want to pick them up it is the first link in the description down below they are 36.99 anyways hopefully you found this video useful if you did drop a like one and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to keep slaying